The Friday night lights are on with fans in the stands. Last night's football game between Grants and St. Pius at Bernalillo High School marks one of the first high school sports games with spectators. News 13's Annalisa Pardo was at the game. She was able to talk some of, to some of the fans in attendance. Welcome to the campus of Bernalillo High School. <laughs> it's an exciting night. We've got a senior here. <laughs> As students, friends, and family take to the stands to watch their favorite football players take to the field. Yeah, we were so happy we finally got to see, we're going to see them play. After months of no sports, it's terrible for the boys because they're kind of stuck, you know, behind the computer screen. The games are back, and the state announced last week fans would be too. It feels different because it's been a year since we've been able to cheer for the home team. It looks different too. I guess just the masks, you know. That's well, and, really and all the people, is. there's not, yeah, you know, and there's it's not used a to crowd, be so you know. crowded, and now it's, look at that, there's hardly anybody here. Yeah. No cheerleaders were on the track tonight, and fans are only allowed at 25% capacity. Since Sandoval County is in the yellow level of risk, the limited space had parents making sure they secured a spot. We um, reserved our tickets in advance with our team mom. And we are just so excited to be here and just be able to cheer him on. And he is excited. The social distancing seen in the stands and on the sidelines, per NMAA guidelines. Let's go, dude! Still, win or lose, the opportunity to cheer <laughs> or ring for the players feels like a touchdown after a tough year. All players, coaches, and spectators are still required to wear masks when at a sporting event. Once counties reach the green level, fans can be at 50% capacity for outdoor sporting events, and that goes up to 75% capacity in turquoise counties.